the amount of carbon dioxide in Earth's atmosphere is rising. Currently, the Earth's atmosphere is made up of 78% by mass nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.9% argon, 0.04% carbon dioxide, and the last 0.06% is a combination of other gases. What percent of the molecules in a 100 gram sample of the atmosphere are carbon dioxide? This problem looks deceptively simple, but the answer is not 0.04%. That is the percent of the mass of the atmosphere that is carbon dioxide. We want to know about the molecules themselves, and each molecule has a different mass. So what is the first step in a problem like this, where we are given quantities in mass? Drawing a beaker is always the first step. This word problem is really long and has a lot of information in it, so we should do something to make it more digestible and easier to work with. Let's set up a beaker that contains all of the information in the problem. But remember that beakers always have moles in them, so we need to know how many moles of each substance is present before we can do anything else. How many grams of nitrogen molecules are present in our beaker? Our beaker has a total of 100 grams of atmosphere. 78% of that mass is from nitrogen, so that means that there are 78 grams of nitrogen in our beaker. What should we do now? As we said, we need everything in moles so that we can keep working. Let's convert from mass to moles. We'll take this problem step by step. Start with 78 grams of nitrogen. There are 28.01 grams in one mole of nitrogen, so we'll set up the conversion that allows us to cancel out the grams and leaves us with moles of nitrogen. Once we multiply everything out, we get that there are 2.78 moles of nitrogen in this sample of air. Now we can update our beaker to show how many moles of nitrogen we have in our sample of air. Let's do the same thing for the number of moles of oxygen. How many moles are in 21 grams of oxygen? The molar mass of oxygen is 32.0 grams per mole. Like we said, there are 21 grams of oxygen in our sample, and the molar mass of oxygen is 32.0 grams per mole. We can convert 21 grams of oxygen to moles of oxygen by setting up this conversion factor that lets us cancel out the grams of oxygen and leaves us with moles of oxygen. Once again, we'll update our beaker to say how many moles of oxygen we have in this sample. How many moles of argon do we have in our sample? Argon's molar mass is 39.95 grams per mole. We start with 0.9 grams of argon, use the molar mass conversion factor, and once we multiply everything out, we get that 0.9 grams of argon is equal to 0.023 moles of argon. We'll update our beaker with this information. Finally, do the same thing to calculate how many moles are in 0.04 grams of carbon dioxide. The molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44.01 grams per mole. By setting up this equation and multiplying it out, we see that there are 9.1 times 10 to the minus 4 moles in 0.04 grams of carbon dioxide. We'll put this final value in our beaker. This process of converting everything from mass into moles may seem tedious, but we've just practiced a few really important skills. First, whenever you have a problem that provides a lot of information, like this one, we always draw a beaker and put everything that you're given in the problem into the beaker. And when we fill up the beaker, we always convert everything from mass into moles. In chemistry, masses don't really tell us much. So let's go back to the original problem. What percent of the molecules in a 100 gram sample of the atmosphere are carbon dioxide is really the same question as what percent of the moles in the beaker are moles of carbon dioxide. Wow, we finally did it! To find the percent of molecules that are carbon dioxide in our sample, we divide the number of moles of carbon dioxide by the total number of moles. By doing so, we get that 0.026% of the molecules in the sample are carbon dioxide. Let's look at another scenario to really solidify this process. Fertilizer for plants is most commonly made up of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. One of the common ratios in fertilizers is 10 to 10 to 10 between these elements. This means that if we had a sample of 100 grams of fertilizers, we would have 10 grams of nitrogen, 10 grams of phosphorus, and 10 grams of potassium. Solve for the number of moles of each element found in a 100 gram sample of fertilizer. Draw a beaker to help you. The molar mass of nitrogen is 14.01 grams per mole, the molar mass of phosphorus is 30.97 grams per mole, and the molar mass of potassium is 39.10 grams per mole. We have 10 grams of nitrogen and we'll set up this conversion factor to get that there is 0.71 moles of nitrogen in 10 grams. We also have 10 grams of phosphorus and setting up this conversion factor and multiplying it out tells us that there are 0.32 moles in 10 grams of phosphorus. Starting with 10 grams of potassium and using its conversion factor, 
gives us that there are 0.26 moles in 10 grams of potassium. As you work through the next few videos, remember this practice of putting all of the information you're given into a beaker and converting masses into moles. It's how you should be starting almost every problem you encounter.